What's up everyone, Ethan from EDB Outdoors, and today I am going to be setting up my fly rod for today, because uh, uh, I'm going to go on my first fishing trip for 2019. Um, so, um, I have my uh, seven, seven, 7 foot 8, 7 to 8 weight rod, a little overboard with um, weight rods, but um, only one I have right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have my little indicator here. I've used it lots and you can see the paint coming off from all the fish that have been going for this. <laughs> um, so I have my, uh, what is it called? It is um, my tippet. It is a four pound, four to six pound tippet. So I would say about five. five. Um, so I'm going to grab the um, indicator and through the black you can, or the black thing you can see a hole through, you can see daylight through. I'm going to grab the line, put it through the top. There we go. Now I'm going to, now I put it through here. You guys see. Okay. First step is done. Now the fly that I just tied, I'm going to be tying it on here. Now I'm going to be tying a improved um, clinch knot looking thin thing. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Um, but I'm going to tie a standard um, knot here. Something that you'd use for when you're um, tying uh, your shoes or whatever that knot. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to grab the fly, put it inside of the eye of the hook. Okay, now I'm going to grab the line and I'm going to wrap like maybe five, six times. So, beautiful day outside that's for sure. Not too hot, not too cold. That's the right temperature. Okay, so now that you've wrapped, now you want to go back through that um, hinge knot that you made the first time. There we go. Now, lose it, use a little bit of your saliva, and then pull tight. And the reason being on why I uh, put that little hinge knot is that this is the reason. Now it'll tie right here, not right up to the eye. So this way it allows the fly to move freely and it'll, it'll have a lot more action to the fly. Um, I, If you guys want me to do a uh, a line, line tying or tying your line onto hooks and stuff I will do a video on that, but uh, I need your comments and stuff on the video. But I got this, my fly on. I'm going to leave that right here. Get my indicator. There we go. Okay. So now I will be fishing probably about maybe, mm, say about almost to 10 feet of water. And uh, I with my indicator, this is a, I forget what it was called, it's an indicator. <laughs> um, so I got the fly here and I got the indicator right here. So now when you're fishing, um, you can see the indicator is just sliding freely up and down, which you don't want and which is a pain in the butt when you're fly fishing. But um, I watched uh, Fishing with Rod. Um, he's a BC fishing YouTuber. Uh, lot love his videos. Um, probably put his link in the description down below for you guys to check it out. Check him out. But anyways, I'm gonna get the indicator. I'm gonna break it apart. You guys can see that black piece here. Um, now you will uh, hold both ends of the line, and then you'll come together. And you can see it's going to be forming a loop. Now, once you go in, 
inside of the or back grate inside. There we go. It's not moving it open. And now with this uh, tag, I'm just gonna pull a little bit just so it's inside of the indicator. You guys can see probably a little bit of it. Yeah, you guys right here, right on the edge. Now, when you're hooking onto a fish, now when you see a bite or whatever, and you set the hook, and this thing's just staying where it is, it could be like almost all the way up to your all the way up your leader which is not the best when you're fishing so like as you're reeling in the fish the indicator will catch onto the tip of your rod you guys can see so which is not the best now with this um nothing uh nothing here i'll show you guys again grab that and you got the loop put it through pull a little bit so now when you hook to the fish with this kind, it'll break open and it'll move freely. And it'll move all the way down to the fish so you don't have any troubles with um, everything. So I'm gonna just put this down maybe clo pretty close to my fly just cause I'll be driving down to the lake. There we go. So, here's the fly, and I'll, when I get to the lake, um, I'll be showing, sharing you guys lots of tips and everything that you guys need to know when uh, you're there at the lake. So, um, stay tuned for that, and uh, we'll catch you later.